in the super exciting geometry problem, we've got this big semicircle, and it's got a radius of 5, and there's this cord inside the semicircle, and its length is 8, and we got to find the area of this gold colored circle located underneath the cord. So if you want to try this on your own, now is the time to pause the video, because I'm starting to solve it right now. Let's draw a radius for the semicircle here, and we know its length is 5, and that means this entire distance here is 10. Next, let's put this line segment over here. Now we've got this inscribed angle, subtended by the semicircle's diameter. And it's the basic property of circles that an angle inside a circle, subtended by the circle's diameter, is always 90 degrees. So we can conclude that this angle is a right angle. And we've got a right triangle here. We know two of this right triangle's sides are 8 and 10. And that tells us it must be what's called a 3-4-5 triangle which is basically a right triangle with side lengths in the ratio of 3, 4 and 5. And in our right triangle, the hypotenuse is 5 times 2, and this leg is 4 times 2. So it's clear that this side has to be 3 times 2, which is 6. Next, I'll put this yellow angle here, and I'll call it 2 alpha, and you'll find out why it's 2 alpha in a few seconds. Let this point C be the center of the gold colored circle. And let's draw this radius for the gold colored circle here, and we'll call it R. We've got a right angle here because it's the point of tangency. Let's draw another radius here. And this angle here is 90 degrees too. Now let's draw this line joining the vertex of the triangle and the center of the circle. We've got two triangles here. And they have these legs with identical length. And their hypotenuse is the same too. And that's enough to conclude that these two right triangles are congruent. Which means each of these two angles must be alpha. Now if we knew the tangent of angle alpha, we would also know the ratio of these two sides. But how do we find tangent alpha? Let's go back to this big right triangle and copy it over here. Now let's put this angle bisector in it and let this distance be x. And this distance down here is obviously 6 minus x. Now according to the angle bisector theorem, the proportion between these two distances must be equal to the proportion between these two distances. So we can put it as an equation like this, which simplifies to x equals 8 over 3. So let's replace this x with that. And tangent alpha is basically the opposite side divided by the adjacent side. This is the opposite side. So let's put 8 over 3 up here. And this is the adjacent side. So let's put 8 down here. And this fraction equals 1 over 3. We have found tangent alpha. We can now go back to our little right triangle. We know tangent alpha is 1 over 3, so if this side is r, then this side must be 3r. And this distance here is 5, which means this segment has to be 3r minus 5. Now let's draw a radius for the big semicircle here. And we know it's 5. And we also know that this segment has to be r, because it's the radius of the gold circle. That means this remaining distance down here is 5 minus r. Now we've got a cute little right triangle down here, and we're gonna apply to it the Pythagorean theorem, which states that the sum of the squares of a right triangle's legs equals the square of its hypotenuse. We know the legs and the hypotenuse of our right triangle, so let's bring them all together in this equation like this. And if we open the brackets, we get this. Next, we cancel out everything, and it turns out r is 20 over 9. Let's move this finding up here, and let's change this r to 20 over 9. And now it's time for my son to intervene, to help the hardest part of this problem. Hello, Dad. I know this is super easy. Alright, go ahead and find the area of the gold circle, son. Hello, people. The area of a circle equals pi times r squared. The radius of this circle is 20 over 9. So we take the square of 20 over 9. 20 squared is 400. 9 squared is 81. And the area of the gold circle is... 400 over 81 times pi. Thanks, son. So there we are, people. We've found the area of the gold circle, and it's 400 pi over 81. So if you enjoyed this video, please consider pushing the like button. And make sure you're subscribed, so that you don't miss our future videos. Have a good day, and see you soon.